Now, as more of us try to go green at home, it seems the beauty industry is no different. It's a sector where, at the moment, around 95% of containers are thrown out after just one use. Now, though, change is underway, with some salons opting to recycle everything, including human hair. With more, here's Gillian Sharp. This Aberdeen salon is now recycling things it never could. We can recycle now basically pretty much everything, which is amazing. And that includes human hair, once destined for landfill. It all means that sustainability comes up a lot in the chat between stylist and customer. I've got a team of 30. If all those 30 people can tell one to five people a day that we recycle and how easy it actually is, it really spreads the word and it makes it less kind of daunting for people to recycle. Foils have always been one of the most difficult things to recycle, contaminated with colour, but now there's a way to do it. Unfortunately, the hairdressing industry has traditionally been quite a wasteful one. Because we promote separate recycling, it means that we can collect the metals as they are and not have the risk of them running onto different um, recycling and waste streams. This hair boom is one way hair is being recycled, here mopping up a local oil spill in Northern Ireland. It's like a big fancy dishwasher. And there's change elsewhere too. These containers used to hold beauty products. The washing uh, facility that we have here is medical grade, so that means that it's used in things like hospitals or laboratories. From their base in Wishaw, this beauty company is pioneering reuse in beauty and personal care packaging, washing both their own and working with much larger companies. An old-fashioned idea, they say, brought right up to date. We've made it contemporary to the future, and what I mean by that is leveraging technology, asset tracking, so we know exactly what was in the bottle or the, the jar, whatever it is, but it means that when we get it back here for cleaning, we know which cleaning protocol it needs to go through. And with consumers increasingly interested in sustainable products and services, the trend seems likely to continue. Gillian Sharp, Reporting Scotland.